What's up everyone, Supreet Goswami here and today, well today let me show you a few photos first. As you could see, all those photos were clicked on my iPhone SE 2020. So the iPhone SE 2020 having a single uh, lens unit of 12 megapixel f1.8 is not capable of capturing any macro shots. So how was I able to do that, right? So here is yet another video of mine, yet another review video of mine. And today I'm reviewing the Signy Pro Pocket DSLR kit from Skyvit Technologies. So uh, let's get ahead with the unboxing first. I got this package from Amazon and I got it for about 2000 rupees. So let's see what's inside. This is the box containing uh, the lenses. So let's cut it. Here is another box. It's a very cool looking box, I would say. Black with white logo. Looks cool. So let's see what's inside. Okay, here is here is the main case, the main carrying case of the lenses. This is a very cool looking case, very cool case. Here are some thank you notes and guarantee card. So this is a matte black beautiful case I would say nice chain I would give top marks for packaging to this company so here we have a small cleaning cloth and a small hook and this is the clip which lets you attach the lens to your camera to your uh, mobile phone so it, it's kind of tight and uh, I can see that there are uh, rubber linings so that there, there are no scratches to your phone when you attach it and this is the main item this is our lens there are two lenses screwed to one another I, I just like this case man so um, there are two lenses one is a wide angle lens and another is a macro lens so a, by the feel of it it, it, it looks like aluminum and uh, the, the build fit and finish is very good so here are the both of the lenses Now, as we have unboxed our product, let's let's try to get some uh, some footage, some uh, capture some videos with it. Try to see how the image quality or um, the capabilities of the lens, basically. So let's go. So I'm attaching the clip to my iPhone SE 2020. It has got a pretty decent camera, being a 12 megapixel, but it still shoots pretty decent photos. So we are uh, attaching both the lenses at once because uh, I will be trying the wide angle first. So for wide angle, we would need both the lenses to be mounted on the ca uh, phone. It's, it's kind of heavy and it looks like this. So here is uh, with the lens, with the wide angle lens. So you can see the angle which is covered. And I would remove the lens now this is without the lens so you can see the wide angle is has been reduced as a normal normal angle and half of the camera body is visible now this is 
up outside beautiful cloudy sky this is with the lens attached so you can see it's quite wide and this is after removing the lens so let's uh, try for the fun stuff now let's try the macro one can see the net of the of the case each and every thread of it here are my uh, ear pawns also you can see the the table surface the, the material it's my watch let's try to go a bit more closer to it So I'm outside, I'm looking for some insects. I don't think I'm lucky enough to find a big insect. So here are some ants and it's pretty difficult to catch, you know, to focus on ants because they are really small and they, they move quite fast. I think it would be of no use to shoot them. Here's a small flower I found right outside my balcony. To give a final verdict on the lenses, so um, the build quality and the packaging is is awesome. Okay, there is no no complaints really regarding those two aspects. So as for the packaging, it says that uh, the lens has uh, ultra HD uh, lanthanide glass to take high resolution shots, uh, multi layer coated optical glass, aircraft grade aluminum housing universal clip with anti-slip and anti-scratch material and uh, the super wide angle lens is a, a dot 45x super wide and the macro lens has a capability of 15x magnification and regarding the lens okay so um, the wide angle is, is pretty simple and pretty uh, decent you know just plug on to the the mobile phone and click wide angle photos there is not much uh, vignetting or distortion at the edges so it's it's cool you can you can just grab it and click some wide angles no problem at all but with the macro lens yes it is able to capture some sharp uh, macro images but obviously with macro photography the focusing is is a thing well you need proper light you need a uh, stable um, subject okay you need to get very close to the subject and with this macro lens yes over the edges it, it goes really soft it, it distorts and you can see the pictures but yes in the center of center of the image you, you get really uh, sharp images if you get everything right and with a little bit of post editing you would be able to get some some quality results out of it you would be able to post those photos on social networking sites obviously it cannot produce dslr like top-notch quality photographs because because obviously it's, it's a, a separate lens with no uh, real connection between the, the, the camera body and the lens of, of course and on top of that we will be always using the uh, phone sensor which is a very small sensor and it would not be able to produce uh, top-notch quality images ever right? so yeah it's kind of a lens which you can just grab on and take it in your pocket and go somewhere on on any particular day you are not uh, willing to take your take all your gear all your lenses and DSLR just just you want to go and go somewhere visit some place and click some photographs and get some footage so you can just grab these lenses it has a nice case so grab them and just take them just plug up, plug it on your uh, camera and get the, get the shots so that's it 
Uh, on this uh, price point of 2000 rupees, I think it's a, it's a decent product. But the, the image or the footage it can produce is, is quite, you know, good, I would say. So that was it from my side. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till my next.